Welcome to a Monday afternoon, everybody. We'll start with a kind of a dull gray day out here as we look at our tower cam shot. Lots of cloud cover out there, and that's expected to stay locked in as we go through the remainder of today. Here's our forecast then and our day planner this afternoon. We'll get into the upper 20s or so with lots of cloud cover. At least the winds will be light out of the west at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your forecast as we go into tomorrow, where there might be a little bit of light snow overnight into early tomorrow morning, especially for areas along and north of I-96, but only a dusting to about a half inch. Otherwise, we may see some afternoon sunshine later in the day tomorrow with highs in the mid-30s and a southwest wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. I want to show you the upper air analysis because we are tracking a couple of different things coming up later this week. Arctic air is going to be one of them, a major winter storm with maybe some significant snow and lots of wind. The colors on this map represent the air masses, and you can see the Arctic air that has already seeped in the northern plains. We'll start this on Wednesday. Here comes the development of low pressure system. Look at that Arctic air in pink and the magenta and the purple seeps all the way south in the Texas and the Gulf Coast. There's a big storm system that's going to develop and that's going to start to move our way. You can see by Friday morning, we're still in the warmer air uh, with temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s, but that Arctic blast is going to wrap right in as we go through the day and we'll see the temperatures tank. The winds will ramp up and the snow's probably going to ramp up as well, but there's the Arctic blast and the location of it as we get into to 6 a.m. on Saturday. The core of it is right over us. That will slowly and very gradually lift out, but it won't happen until after Christmas. And as we work toward New Year's, we may actually uh, see temperatures warm up again to where we get into the upper 30s to around the 40 degree mark, but it's going to take some time to get there. How much snow are we talking about? Well, the, the exact track is not known. That will affect the snow, but what is known is the Arctic air is going to be coming in here later this week. There could be blizzard conditions because of very windy conditions out there. Heavy snow is a possibility, maybe some power outages. This starts to unfold later Thursday with a mixed batch of precipitation. And then as we get into Friday and Saturday, those are the worst days. And by Sunday, it'll be tapering off, but it's going to be cold. As you can see what the European model is forecasting, the possibility of double digit totals, especially as you go further west towards Grand Rapids and the lakeshore there. So we'll continue to monitor the situation. Make sure to stay up on later forecasts. That's the very latest. I'm Fox Meteorologist Kevin Craig.